There's 40 head of calves here. Uh, and uh, they look a little rough, a little muddy and whatever. But I honestly got to say for uh, what the uh, muddies have been and nasty and weather, I think they actually look really good. Um, but anyway, and here's old goofball here. This calf's been around here for a while. He actually run a fever of like a 107 for four days. Um, but, uh, and I saved him, but he got, holds his head a little crooked. So, uh, he's been here probably eight months or whatever. He'll be my, my beef for the year. But anyway, he, he actually is doing real good. I just keep moving him through with calves as I start them. So he, he's kind of the training dummy. But, uh, man, this, this video is kind of going to be a rant or start of a rant. Uh, I hate to do rants. But lately, I've had more and more, seems like, to rant about. Um, any of you that really know me or follow me too awful well knows that uh, I, uh, I work in food, um, livestock, and meat inspection. And uh, in a food show there I uh, was part of, um, got to see uh, what I call fake meat. They don't definitely don't like that term whatsoever. Um, lab grown meat, whatever you want to call it, but as far as I'm concerned, it's fake meat. But it started out that uh, they originally fought and got them from using that term, meat or beef, uh, on this product because it didn't come from cattle. And, uh, you know, technology is so fast and so good these days that, you know, they just took cells from a cow and replicated them and started growing it in a dish and, and, um, uh, and done it that way. So it actually qualifies as meat and beef because it did come from, uh, you know, the cattle that they're using, the, getting the cells from actually have names. Um, this particular product, uh, the product I seen was, uh, and I'll try, I'm not very good, I'm not tech savvy, but I'll try to attach a, a link to a YouTube video that I actually watched on this too. Uh, but the product that they're promoting the most is Wagyu steak. Uh, the reason they're doing that is, is because it is a high-end product. Uh, but the main reason is, is um, to my understanding is the growth, the first three weeks can grow really fast. Um, and when they first originally, I'm kind of jumping around here, but when they first, <laughs> when, they, when they first, Finch is uh, barking at the cows here. Good boy. But anyway, uh, like I said, I hate to jump around, but kind of, you know, this this caught me off guard, and I just had to get this off, off my brain. When they first started this, I thought, you know, uh, this this product is never going to affect us in any way. Um, it's going to be like a, a veggie burger. They're going to create a, a, a non-porous meat, or you can't replicate steak. You can't replicate this or that. You know, they're just going to come up with a steak product that's going to be kind of like a veggie burger or something a ground product and uh you know there'll be a slight uh market for that people that you know are against animal agriculture and whatever uh die hard they'll, they'll buy that product but that's not the case they're replicating steak now they're replicating chicken breast uh, all these things uh, it doesn't matter if they got the protein they can grow the fibers now and and, and design them and, and grow this but Anyway, their um, their hurdle they're getting through right now, of my understanding, and uh, talking to them was uh, they can grow the steak and they can do it very efficiently for like the first three weeks, and it grows fast, and they can create like a four ounce thin strip of steak in just a matter of a few weeks. But then after that, the growth slows way down, and it becomes harder to intertwine that. Uh, 
to steak. So, yes, they went after the Wagyu because usually traditionally Wagyu is served in small portions because of, you know, uh, it being so rich and stuff. Um, but I didn't taste the product, but the people that did taste it would they all commented it wasn't, they weren't going to say it was the best steak they ever ate, but they would definitely say it was a steak. Um, and it was, was good. Uh, I seen uh, two trays of chicken breasts laid out there. Um, and everyone had to ask if that was a trick, that if they were actually different. One tray was chicken breast, the other tray was... Uh, the fabricated uh, or fake chicken breast I'm gonna call it um, but I didn't see it tested taste tested but visually you couldn't tell a difference uh, in the products and uh, guys that just I hate to be a downer but that just worries and scares a living ever living crap out of me you know because they're promoting this to uh, you know they can grow a steak in three weeks and you know, cattle takes two years, and uh, I love land. I love the wide open spaces. I love living here. But you know, to uh, people that have never had any land that live in the city, they think this is a waste. This needs to be developed, and blah blah blah. Uh, no, it doesn't. Not in my eyes. And this is my way of life. Uh, but uh, I actually, for once, feel threatened. Really threatened on my way of life. Uh, I. You know, I work in uh, um, butcher shops and, and, and houses and whatever. Uh, you know, we're not allowed to say the word slaughter anymore. We got to say harvest because that's not a correct term anymore. Uh, you have to use terms that, you know, suit the snowflakes. Uh, lots of things in this world right now are really starting to upset me. You know, you can't watch Rudolph. Uh, as a cartoon, I, you know, uh, that's being bullying and promoting bullying and, you know, we can't watch that, but, you know, you can identify, you have to ask somebody what they identify as, because it doesn't matter if they're male or female, they, whatever they feel that they are inside, uh, so I have to be sensitive to their feelings and all that, but, you know, I don't, I can't watch Rudolph. Uh, anyway, guys, I, you know, like I said, this is a short rant and I could go on about this for hours. But uh, definitely something to think about, keeping back your mind, maybe research. And uh, like I said, I don't want to be a downer, but man, some of these guys, I, I, I feel for young guys that are uh, wanting to get started maybe. And all I can say is what I've been preaching lately, don't, don't leverage too much. Don't go out and spend a half a million dollars on a, a uh, pit barn to raise beef in because... Uh, that, uh, that's an awful lot of equity to turn in when the, the future might be bright and it might not. I, you know, my thinking in t five years ago was is there's going to be less and less land and less and less farmers and a lot of aging farmers retiring. There was going to be a, a chance for younger guys. But uh, with some of the developments lately, I'm not so sure that that's the case. But anyway. You can disagree, agree, whatever, but leave your comments and, and uh, all that. And uh, rate, subscribe. Love to hear what everybody else is thinking about this. Have a great day.